generic greetings and welcome back once again to Academia Skills Simulator where in the previous episode we got the computer lab up and running. It does require some more computers, another row perhaps and that should be sorted but overall it's in there and working. We also obviously made some tweaks and changes and the usual progression. In terms of money we're not doing too bad on eight grand and we also get about three grand per day. We're running several of the counsellor sessions in order to weed out some of the delinquency here and the problem we have at the moment though is the trash and uh, dirt and trash. You can see we've got loads of dirt and that's a big 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 problem so what I was going to do this episode is actually build some of the other classrooms and sort of double up on those because I thought that would be a good progress and also a computer lab but no I'm really going to have to deal with this flooring because people are going to start to leave and as you can see from the report card previously cleanliness was an issue as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to staff I'm going to hire one two more janitors because just bodies on the ground is I think what we need here and then also go to research and you see we have janitor priority then microfiber mops we also have faster janitors and increased janitor range but I'm going to go over to microfiber mops because well getting that is it's uh, microfiber mops and picking up dirt faster rate increase cleaning speed by a hundred percent and we should be able to get that relatively fast because we've got three and a bit grand and we're getting two and a half so we should have that six for the microfiber mops tomorrow so hopefully that will help out in terms of other things that we could get well the wood it would be nice to get this electricity rationing and then the solar panel then the wind turbine because we currently have that on our to-do list here you can see research solar panel and place the solar panel but we just don't have the money for that let me go to max speed here and let them crack on with it just going to check our reports here for dirt dirt is going down which is good but as soon as the students move that will head up as well but there you are obviously with them going around the cleaning that up I, I just don't want students leaving because of how dirty it is you can see the hygiene is going right down as they walk through that you can see this uh, hygiene the hygiene went right down as they were going around there which was a bit of a problem some of these students are without I'd say it's coding some games. They're just sort of standing around and coding some games. I guess that that could be true. It could be, you know, sitting and helping out and doubling up. And that sort of would work, I guess. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's uh, all working in the computer lab, which I'm very happy about. We also have our music room. So yeah, loads of different instruments there and some without. And then we have the artist one as well, which is quite cool. Uh, standard classrooms really don't get used if unless they really need it. So for example, we've currently got six classes running at the moment and none of the classrooms have got anyone in them. We've got the me the music room getting used, the computer lab getting used, the library getting used and also the swimming pool which is now much better than before because it doesn't make it so that people go through the wall which you know having a transfers pool is quite an advanced piece of kit but certainly something you don't want uh, <laughs> in general you can see we've got a smoker being caught there and also a bullying incident which is also being caught because we have our monitors and they are taking them along there how many do we have actually monitors we have three monitors in total and microfiber mops research is available so we got the priority for the janitors which is good but the mops are there as well we're going to double check our reports so we can see that yes dirt has gone right 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 down which is excellent it is possible that we're going to maybe sack some of these per, like later on but we'll see how things go i'm just very surprised that those two janitors only it's just the addition of those two janitors has brought the dirt right down but it needs to be a lot uh, a lot less because you can see there you know it's uh, going right up to 50 odd as soon as they do that travel it just completely muckies all of this ah there you go so they've dropped out because they don't feel safe in the school also we had one there which uh, i know running at this speed's a problematic at times to see what's going on but we've had someone that's been put straight let's go on to delinquency and we've got five smokers two truants and seven bullies now we can't increase the amount or we can increase the amount in counseling so we'll do that we have no one a truant and we'll put a couple in counseling there and actually two in counseling there so it looks like we can set those up so that is fine so everybody's there we've all haven't got a rowdy student either but we'll just one in detention but that's fine so yeah you're running lots of counseling stuff because in a previous uh like a couple of episodes ago we brought in some students but they had delinquency so that was one of the things we got extra money for it but you know we made sure that we could look after them and go and do the proper treatment which is what we have the counseling officers there for in terms of stuff to build there is many many things that we would have to do so i mean we haven't got any staff toilets we haven't got a staff canteen all of that is something that i do want to get at some point i really wanted to get at least one of these extra 
classrooms up because that would mean obviously more money and more students but that would also require the building of this entire wing which is going to cost a lot of money and then obviously increasing the size of the kitchen and indeed the staff so it's problematic to say the least although let's just uh, max it out here with the oh food fight we've got a food fight going on let's have a quick look and mm, no that's finished so yeah they've, they've actually done that and then it's passed oh there you go look we see some food on the floor there someone Confessing their love, maybe maybe for the food. I mean, it does look quite nice. Is that spaghetti bolognese or something? It does look quite nice. Either way, that's all I can run. I don't think there's really anything I can currently build. Let's go to reports here. I just want to check the sanitation again. Yeah, still a bit dirty, but a lot better than before. We also got previously this water. Um, sorry, this is that a water? Water pump. Yeah, we've got a water pump, which is reducing our water cost per day. The problem, though, is it does cost quite a bit of money. If I go over to objects and we just type in water, we can see water pump is 720 and it, water cost reduction is 120 per day. And, oh, there you go. So someone's dropped out because the school is filthy. I can't really disagree with them on any particular point. Actually, it's not as dirty as it was previously. So I don't really know. I don't really know. Either way, we've only got today... And then one more. Oh, there's another one dropping out. And it's today. And then one more for the end of the school year. So there you are. I'm just hoping that we don't have a massive, massive dropout rate. Because as you can see from the report card, our overall... Uh, here we go. A random event or ignore it. I am going to, quite frankly, ignore it. And I will lose some prestige, but I don't care. Because... Oh, there's someone else left. Because as we've seen previously, if you've got low money and there's something that you have to pay for, then basically it can be quite bad and I really don't want to have that again. The event stuff uh, at the moment I can't really say I've experienced a lot of the events. There's several events that I haven't. Oh look at that. Loads of people are leaving to go to the other school. Yeah I can't say I've experienced a lot of a lot of events in the game but the, the problem is the ones I have they've always been really bad ones and it's not something that's been quite well, I was going to say quite good. I've actually been of any use at all to us. It's just been all negative ones and something I really just don't want to deal with. So I'll have to do some prestige for them to go over there. But, I mean, we are all the lower ranks, so that's why people will probably be leaving there. But we've got one more day to go, but we have lost now too many students. We're down to 1,850 per day, which means that we're not going, we're not going to be able to get the microfiber mops, which is bad, 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 bad. And also you can see that now the overall motivation stuff is going down in terms of subjects it looks to be that art is the most the most high well, the highest graded here followed by language and then i mean there's not much in it i mean it's 82 81 80 students are unhappy why are they unhappy i hate pooping in the bushes school should be more fun i'm tired and school is always dirty dropped out never enough food school is super dirty i can never feel safe so we do well, that should go back up now because, well, it's a new day. So do we need more, we need more food. What do we need? And Do we need more staff? I'm going to hire, uh, I'll hire one more kitchen staff and I'll build some more in here. So down to kitchen and we'll put another stove in, one, two, three put them in there like so and hopefully that will be enough I'm guessing it will be I'm hoping it will be because <laughs> I don't have much choice either way in terms of there you go that, that's back up to to pretty much full now in terms of students we can have how many can we have 6 6 12 18 24 30 in each class and I think we brought in was it the 27, 28, something like that. We currently have. I'm going to have to close those. We currently have 25, 27, 25, 26. So that's students dropping out, students leaving to go to other schools, and students. Uh, oh, delinquent students being set straight. Excellent. And just other, other changes like that. I'm going to go over to our delinquents here. Once again, we're going to double check these and we can see that we can increase the amount of people in counselling and same for truant and for the smokers as well there. And that obviously is setting people straight. I wonder if there's any any 
I need grants to set a certain amount of people straight. That's unlockable, we don't want to do that. This is accept student transfer, but you can only get, I think it's a certain amount. It is 10, yes, yeah, so we don't want to do anything like that. I mean, I haven't done the maths on it, but could you just say bring not many people in? And then as soon as you start the next school year, you then just accept them this way. That's a that is a possibility. We are going to go for the sustainable electricity first, though, because that will reduce our electricity bill by 20%. Not a great thing. Not a great thing, but... Let's see what it is. Water is 1,112, uh, yeah, and then electricity is 1,080. So actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, save a, we'll save a couple of hundred there. And then there's a lot of food fight going on, so... Oh, look at the state of that. There's food absolutely everywhere. And... The monitor, the monitor hasn't done anything about that. Interesting. Let's just double check our bit here and... Oh, it won't be in there. It'll actually be in satisfaction. Mm. No, it's fine, I think. In terms of kitchen, we're still on the regular one. It tells us our kitchen where it is. And electricity costs and usage. But don't have any bearing on what that's like. We have six low hygiene students with health loss and one injury and no, no, nothing uh, to do with food quality so that's good. That's what we want. Dirt 55 still not good but it has to be better than this cleanliness D. If it's I would like it to be A obviously if across the board but I mean I'll settle for C's. I'll settle for C on the cleanliness side. Certainly nothing like we've seen previously, and that was to do with all of the flooring around here. But putting in that wall and then putting the grass on there rather than the dirt, that has helped out massively. I think around here also does require some flooring. So let's go over to floors and do concrete tile. And then what I'm going to do is put a concrete tile around the running track like that. And there, there we go. Spent a lot of money. But, you know, it, it cleans, it, it removes some dirt, and I think that's important. I don't know whether you want uh, grass there or not, actually. No, that's fine. That'll be fine. So, another st uh, delinquent student has been set straight, which is good. So, we're going through that quite fast, actually, which is what we want. We'll put, uh, can we put another person on that one? Uh, no, I think that's about right. So, two truants out of the two are in that we've got in the uh, counseling sessions there the bullies we've got three in there and then one says free but why why wouldn't one ah delinquents are not being, are being caught by monitors right they need to be caught by monitors first size so fine you can see all the dirt building up there as it's going along there but it is currently dismissal anyway so they're gonna eat i think there yeah and then they're gonna head home anywhere looks like there's enough food there now so that's good but this will be our next grading. So, let's see what we're like. I'm hoping, we currently had a previous grading of C+. If we can get a B on the grading, that would be very, very good. I think overall we've got more facilities, and it has certainly been cleaner, and we've had fewer dropouts. So, that overall should hopefully help out quite a bit. So, final exams are currently ongoing. This is the third time we've done this, so let's have a quick look. We have a school's rank of... 733. Big improvement, actually. Pretty good indeed. So it was 811 or something. So it's gone up. So let's have a quick look. A teaching facility. Prestige. 646. And our rating is now 739. So change, a positive change of plus 72 in the in the gradings there as well. And highbrow school is below us now at 743. So that's really, really good. Teaching facility. Here we go. Passing rate C. So, probably bang on average. Prestige, plus 10 with a 500 cash. Cleanliness, very surprised at A grade. Very, very happy with that indeed. Plus 30 prestige and 150 little bonus there. Delinquency at C, well, we expected something like that. At the end of the day, we did bring in delinquent students at the start. And then cash has obviously gone up 500 as well. Graduate pedigree C, plus 15 on the prestige with a plus 1,000 for cash. Total cash incentive and bonus, plus 3,500. Prestige, plus 65 and an overall grade of C plus so basically we haven't increased as a school in our overall grade 
but we have changed the actual grading and the types of things in here because previously it was you know it was, it was a it was a different like you know the passing rate was increased I think and delinquency was uh, higher uh, well lower uh, but delinquency was D so there you go in terms of timeline I'm not going to go through all that it's, it's going to show us our funds and stuff and the rank there that's fine exam results we can see that we have had people that have failed we've had them that dropped out failed failed that's actually a lower passing rate than I thought uh, exam evaluation C 72% there so we've had oh wow we really need to do better juniors 70 uh, 16 16 of them failed and 12 passed so more failed than passed 43 percent pass rate that is abysmal so there must be something that we're missing out science is quite low science is quite low and going just roughly across the board here it does seem to be that science and maths are the ones that they've failed on that would make sense actually because maths are now being taught in the IT room in the computer room and we don't yet have chemistry we don't have a science lab or anything so that's something we're gonna have to do so build phase yes so standard building phase what we're gonna do is have a quick look around but realistically we just need to set everything up and bring people in so we're gonna go over to uh, actually our admissions here and you can see returning none and oh hang on let's bring this in so we want to have a total number of students up to well we'll bring it up to not all max we like to have a little bit of a barrier there so we have 26 returning students and we're going to bring that up to a total of 28 you can see our seats there and oh that's bad that's all kinds of bad so <laughs> because we have the sophomore students going up to junior and then finally <laughs> Oh, God. And then finally, the ones that have failed coming back, we actually have 39 students and we have only 30 seats. <laughs> so that's all kinds of bad. So what I'll need to do is build straight away. I'm actually going to max this out because we plan on building these anyway. I'm going to have to bring these in, and then I'll have nine remaining where I can't do anything with. And I'm going to have to build, as a priority, these. That is a possibility. It's something I probably am going to do. But, senior, was it? Freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior, I believe that says. Yes, senior and junior. And it's junior. So we need to build this. Okay. There's probably some merit in realistically saying, right, okay. This here, we know we're gonna build. Let's bring in let's bring in as many students as this is gonna require. So we already are we're already nine over par on that one. So having that again, we we might as well build there, but I'm probably not going to because dropouts and things like that it's gonna cut it's good she's gonna cause a bit of a nightmare so I'm not gonna probably bother doing that instead we'll build these two classrooms and put the corridor in and then we're gonna have to hire more people anyway because in terms of our department hmm that's a problem how is that going to work because I've now got more classes how is that going to work ah didn't really think of that Because they have, everybody has the schedule. They have six classes a day. But we've got six teachers. But this is for every classroom. When we have classroom four, uh, classroom five, which will be another junior. That's going to be a problem. Okay. What we'll do, we're going to go to build. Go to walls. Stone wall. And let's build this. Like that. Now, I could... Build just this section. But I'm going to have to build the rest of it around here anyway. 
Okay, so you can see we're already down to less money than what we need. We haven't got enough money. There are students who are not assigned to classrooms. Yes, I know, but we don't have the classrooms. I could realistically put some chairs on either side. One, two, three, four, five, and put ten either side in that classroom. Would that work? Probably. Is it feasible? Probably. Am I going to do it? No. No. It's it's all, The class is already too... It's already 30. So, having over that, no. Don't like the sound of that. Don't like the sound of it. Let's go to doors. Put the standard door in. One. And then two. Obviously, the game's shouting out because we've got not enough money. As soon as we start, we'll get 12 grand advance payment. Put this wall in. We'll furnish both these rooms. And then we'll have to be hiring. So, that's a thing. Let's see. So, max speed out while I finish that off. Getting that sorted. And there we are. Okay. Let's do it. Start school, yeah. So, year four. Didn't think we'd get here. Thought we'd be closed down by the board now, but we have not. So, immediately, building. Straight away. Walls. Stone wall. Zip it right at the top there. Zip it right across. Going over to demolish. Demolish those there. Demolish those there. That's already loads of money spent. We are getting five grand a day, so that's an advantage, I guess. In terms of flooring, we need to put that in as well. Let's go ahead and go to building, floors, concrete tiles. I mean, this is just going to cost us all the money that we have anyway. Oh, and then there we go. Thank you very much, game. So, they've just come along here and then went direct, di diagonal straight up and then caused all of this dirt on the outside, which now if we check into our, where is it, our reports, we can see that we now have 389 unpaved ground, which is classed as dirt that we can't clean. Brilliant. Well, that's going to have to get entirely covered in grass, which I can't afford and won't be able to afford for a massive amount of time. Okay, well, we're just going to have to put up and shut up, I guess. So, junior. Let's put in the junior classroom here. And once again, it is pretty much... Well, it is It's certainly a carbon copy of that over there for the most part. Although, we are going to obviously move, like, the bins and stuff and things like that. So, rotate these round. So, one, two, three, four, five... There we go. We don't need to have it this size, but we'll just we'll, we're building it, so we might as well finish it off. We do want a bin. Huh? No. Why is that not? Why we're we not finding that? Trash can. That's why. It's a trash can. There we go. So that classroom is ordered, and they're going to crack on with that, and then we'll see who's in there, and then we'll have to hire some more people. So we'll erase that bit there, we'll erase those bits there, that should all be fine now. Seven grand in the kitty, and lots of stuff to repair. Like so. Students don't have chairs, yes I'm aware of that. They're just finishing this off. That is very galling. All of this here. It's because they can't clean it as well. That's the problem. So delinquent students have been caught. Let's have a quick look then. Oops. We will... More people in counselling where we can. Some of these delinquents might be returning. We don't really have... I don't really have any idea. So junior classroom is now finished. There we go. It's now finished. But, the question is, there are students that are not assigned to the classrooms. So, I'll have to assign them to, I'm guessing, is it this one? Mm. Unassigned. To there. 
Okay. So those that have now been assigned to that classroom will assign it to detention as well. But who's going to take it? I don't know who's going to take the... Ah, there you go. So we do have two sets now. Classroom three and five. But, is that even possible? See, that's Stephen. Uh, okay, we'll see how it goes. So, we're on fifth period. So, these juniors should be science and maths, but uh, maths being the one by Michaela. And go to the computer lab, just trying to see where the teacher is. No. Sixth period. History, so it'll be. Now it'll be maths. Oh, it was probably lunchtime, yeah. So, maths and language. So, library. Sonia. Sonia. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That works. Okay. Crisis sort of averted. Let me just quickly check our. Yeah, it's still dirty. Okay, so we do need desperately to get microfiber mops. There's, there's no, there's no way around it. If we keep on having this amount of dirt in the school, it's just gonna, it's just gonna snowball. So there you are. But what I can do now that we've got that up and running, and I know it works, is once the grant's done, we can then bring more students in. Because if we check our to-do list, you can see we've got accept junior transfer students grand advance payment and five students will come there you can also set mm, shoot, rowdy transfers and oh, that's freshmen right so we can accept other ones but there we go right I think we will leave it there a bit of a chaotic one I must confess but I think we're getting there now doesn't seem to be everything in the blind panic anymore, which is good. It doesn't feel like we're laying the track in front of the train. We have the extra classroom up. We have the... We have this sorted to get rid of the dirt. And then that happened. Yeah. Not good. That's, that's a huge... That might not seem like a big problem. But it's the footprints and you can't get rid of them. Right. Okay, next episode then, we'll have microfiber mops. It's going to be done very shortly. We'll then obviously go out the next day. We are looking for enough money in order to get the electricity rationing seven grand. We currently have 1,200 and we get 5,000 plus change a day. It is possible that I could cancel this sustainable electricity and then pick up the students and get, the, get them in that way, but the cancellation fee is three grand. So not something I really want to do. Either way, we'll see how we get on. Uh, overall, dismissal, population's gone down. That's, that's actually not too bad. People's um, discipline's gone down, but there you go. So overall, quite happy what we've gotten so far. Next episode, we will see if things get better, worse, or indifferent. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.